This time on Road to 100, we'll be doing something a little different and playing through Jackass the Game for the PlayStation 2. Jackass the Game is based off the MTV show of the same name. The basic story of this game is the director of Jackass was injured during a stunt and you have to step in and take over. The fact that they got the actual jackasses from the show to do voices in the game is actually really cool, but sadly, a lot of the times, the music is so loud you can't even hear the voices. Hi, I'm Markley, talented. Speaking of music, the soundtrack is actually pretty good too. You have to play through mini games, try and get the best score you can, and earn enough money to move on to the next episode. And that's it. There's seven episodes with, I think, five stunts each, and that's all. You play a mini game, try to fulfill some tasks, hurt your jackasses, and then add up your money. Now, the game isn't bad, but it's not really good. It's fun and all, but it's really brainless. I guess it's worth playing through just for the silly ragdoll physics. But there are a lot of unlockables, including characters, videos, games, costumes, all kinds of shit. So if you're a huge Jackass fan, you might want to play through this just to get all the unlockables. Plus, the game is dirt cheap nowadays, so you really won't be losing anything. <laughs> Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Demolition Golf. Plus, um, just a quick note, I don't think Bam Margera is in the game for whatever reason. I didn't see him I, or anything, so whatever, no big loss. But I beat this game in one sitting, and it took me about two hours. So you earn all the money you need to finish the seven episodes, you get a congratulations screen, game number four, and Jackass the Game is beaten. Easy as that. <laughs>